The F-35 and LCS are just a couple of the platforms the Navy is currently testing. Amphibious dock landing ships and Virginia-class submarines are both platforms that have been accepted into service within the last couple of years. But what we didn't talk about are all the platforms already in service, like the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and guided missile cruisers. These ships have been in service for quite some time. They've been tested and have proven themselves over and over again. We have platforms that work well, and they'll complement the newer platforms as they become part of the fleet. Last month, we took you down to Mississippi to check out the Small Craft Instruction and Technical Training School at the Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. Well, that was the first phase of training for some of our partner nations. This month, we take you down to the Dominican Republic to see how these nations' militaries evolve through the Joint Combined Exchange Training. Our Special Forces units perform these J-sets throughout the world, helping boost the skills and capabilities of our allies. We've had a, a large require, request from many of the Caribbean nation states for special boat training in specifically. Uh, a lot of them see that a lot of the trafficking is going up and down the riverways along the coastal areas and they don't really have the capability or capacity to shut that down. <laughs> Well, there's a, uh, there's a current need right now to, uh, in terms of counter-drug operations and counter-narco-terrorism here in the area. Uh, so uh, there, there needs to be a capacity to be able to intercept, board, and apprehend uh, sus sus suspect vessels. Uh, so the JSET is here specifically to build on that capacity. These guys are talking about a joint combined exchange training the United States participates in with countries around the world. Here in Las Calderas, Dominican Republic, a special boat team is spending time going over the basic and some not so basic boat operations and tactics. This, this is a special, special division of their naval forces and they, they are mainly counter drug. So we're taking them from step one of you know, boat handling and navigation um, and then we'll, we'll work up to actually doing larger skill sets on the water, such as over the beach operations at night. That, that's our, our desired end state. Six weeks of training gives the Dominican Navy the capabilities it will need to give the bad guys a run for their money. The end game is catching uh, drug dealers, inbound drug, uh, drug vessels into the Dominican Republic. That's the end game. But that's not all there is to this story. The United States sends some of its best operators to provide this training because it understands the bigger picture within the region. They know how to operate boats. They know how to work on boats. They know how to fix motors. They know everything there is to know about boats. As far as bringing people to the beach or taking them off the beach, they can do it. They've trained all around the world and they have the ability to come in and work with our partner nations and help them develop these same capabilities. Part of that drug, anti-drug security also ties into terrorism, it ties into this general border security, because it's all about getting stuff across borders that isn't supposed to be there. And if we can stop any of it, we can stop, the ripple effect will stop most of it. That ripple starts here in the classroom. It's not much. There's little power, no computers, lights, or even air conditioning. But these sailors have everything they need to learn. And according to JSET instructors, they're ready to get into it. Two days ago, we taught them how to plot basic points. We started teaching them how to write PIMS, which is how to move on the water. Today we came in, we put some points on the board. These guys sat down and got after it all morning about how to get from point A to point B, give us the time, the course, the reciprocal, and they were all spot on. Every day they, they learn something, uh, you know, how to, con how to conduct a, uh, a go fast search, for example, how to, uh, how, even how to grip better on board one of these units. That are not easy, you have to be out there to, to see how difficult it is to keep yourself inside the boat. He's right about that. Our camera crew learned that the hard way during one of the navigation drills. I'm doing that. Back on dry land, the training continues with medical first aid, and these instructors are continually impressed with what they see from the students. Great people to work with. For instance, uh, I was at another J set. I taught uh, how to fix a broken fracture. The next day, a guy had a broken fracture, and one of the guys I taught fixed it. So. And just showing that every day they, they can do something you teach them. Much of what the Navy talks about with these J-sets is capability and capacity building. And this type of training, the navigation, boat handling, and first aid, all help build the capability of the Dominican Navy to deal with situations in the future. Building capacity is a little different. 
But according to Batista, the U.S. is right there, providing more than just training. In our case, we have uh, four uh, small uh, 44 Nortec units that we, uh, we, we position them in strategic uh, sites where we can interdict in case that we have uh, illegal traces and in, 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 you know, in order to uh, prevent the drugs from coming in from the south to, to our uh, uh, territory. The U.S. delivered these four craft to the Dominican Republic as part of an initiative called Enduring Friendship. This multi-year program is laying the groundwork for a future regional security network of maritime patrollers. Uh, when we leave here, we have a good, good rapport, good working relationship, and we build on it for the next time. And what we're also doing is establishing that relationship both, both professionally and personally. So when we do come back, whether it be us or another detachment, that, that relationship's already there and we can continue to build on what we've already trained on. Coming up, we're headed to the streets of Los Angeles, where a few sailors from USS Ronald Reagan are making a difference. First, here's a look at the September All Hands magazine.